Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily import your Illustrator file into Blender to create some 3D artwork. So here I am in Illustrator and with my direct selection tool selected, I'll just highlight my artwork and you can see here are my anchor points and paths I want to import into Blender. So to do that, you just want to go up to File, Save As, and then save it as an SVG file. And the default SVG options are fine. And then just hit OK. So here I am in Blender, and this is a new file, so I'm just going to hit A on my keyboard, and then X to delete. And then to import that file we just exported from Illustrator, you want to go up to File, Import, and then select Scalable Vector Graphic, SVG. And then just import that file you just exported. In the right here we see all of these curves, and those are the curves or the paths from my artwork in Illustrator. So I'm just zooming in with my scroll wheel on my mouse, and you can see the artwork we just exported. So now if I select everything and then go into object mode at the top left and then switch that to edit mode, you can see all of those same paths and anchor points that were in Illustrator here. And those are all still editable. So I'm just going to swap back to object mode and then go to Object, Join, so that just joins all of those curves into one curve. So now when we make our adjustments, it will affect all of the different letters and shapes. So I just select the Material panel here, and then I'm just going to change that black to that blue color. So I'm going to select the Base color, and then paste that in. And there is my blue color. and now let's go to the curve option and then let's just close all of these panels and focus on the geometry so here we have the extrude and i already know what digits i want to put in but here is where we can actually add the thickness to our letters so i want to do 0 0.0025 and just like that we have some 3d letters and it's a bit sharp so we want to add some roundness so to do that, we can go under the bevel options, select round, and then we can adjust the depth. So just like that, we imported our Illustrator file into Blender to create some 3D artwork. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.